5,935 pounds, a StarCraft 254 rear kitchen with a good size super slide coming in on trade here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. They're actually taking home that uh, big triple slide bunkhouse you see hanging over its shoulder right there, kind of staring it down old versus new. Uh, when they got this, it was just a couple of them. They used it a lot, but generally speaking, took pretty good care of it. Now they've got two kids and they just needed a little bit more sleeping space. Side note, unrelated, this was always kind of a personal favorite of mine. Uh, as a Jayco dealer, they made the exact same thing in the Eagle Superlight series called a 256 RKS. I always thought this was pound for pound probably about one of the best couples campers ever made. And I say that for a couple reasons. For a shorter travel trailer, it has excellent space, it has gobs of storage, good chunky counter prep area, excellent seating, direct facing entertainment, tall ceilings, partridge in a pear tree. It, ha it just checks all the boxes of things that uh, I know that I look for in a couples camper. And uh, I, I know that a lot of customers look for in a couple's camper based on, you know, 11 years of doing this. Um, I can also tell you after, I don't even know, let's see, uh, close to 6,000 RV video tours I've recorded and seeing tens of thousands of RVs in my time, uh, this has been well kept. It was used, but it certainly weren't beat up. And generally speaking, like I've been up on the roof, we're going to see that in a little bit. Very well maintained. Great pantry space there. You can see the larger oven uh, with stovetop cover, which is nice. Good drawer space. And that extra chunk of easy reach counter area over there is fantastic, man. Um, the uh, cabinets are all pocket screwed. You see the hardwood cabinet doors. Everything looking good. And what is kind of the secret of the sauce in this RV, like it's very similar to a 246 Freedom Express floor plan. It's similar to a 2401 Winnebago floor plan but it has a true super slide, a long, deep slide. And you can see how the refrigerator is inside of that slide out. Not just a sofa slide, but it's a sofa, refrigerator, and big, giant closet slide. You can see some drawer space down there. The sofa faces directly across from the uh, entertainment. That can always fold down into a little sleeper. The dinette can fold into a sleeper. Um, and over there is that huge monster closet space with like absurd tote storage below that. Actually, let me get over here and open this up so you can take a peek inside because it's, it's, it's big. I mean, it's, it's real big. You can see how there's some shelves on the back there to really pack the storage in. Whether you're going to use it for pantry space, closet space, or frankly, both, you can. Now, as I back up here, this is where having that closet as well as the refrigerator in that super slide makes a difference because it looks and feels enormous inside by comparison to some of the like ultralight versions of a floor plan like this. Now, this was made before we felt the need to have a 40-inch flat screen 10 inches from our face. So you do have a small TV across from the seating, but... You know, that's just one of those things where times change. And I'm not going to get into a debate on how you should, shouldn't camp. I think you should camp however you, you know, you please. It's just, it's your money, it's your investment. Do whatever works for you. There is storage below the dinette, of course. And this is what's called a dream dinette. It's an easy up-down system on that little gas strut right there, which can very quickly, simply kind of fold up and down into a, either a table or uh, sleeping position. As you can see, we've got like a nice privacy wall here cutting off the bedroom, but before we get there, right next to the master bedroom, we have our master bathroom. Foot flush stool, decent counter space in here, but I do like the little cutaway on that countertop. So if you're a little fluffier, it's a bit of a fluffy, friendly bathroom scenario where a bigger person like me has some shoulder, hip, elbow, and midsection room, you know? Um, the uh, bathroom is simple, but effective. It does what it needs to do. It doesn't do much more than that, but I mean, you got to take a quick shower, you, you got to do whatever, you're good to go. Now, um, up here in the bedroom, you can see that you do have a second entry door that's primarily here to satisfy fire code, but the frosty window in there lets in some light, plus you have that big viewing window. Now, I know some people aren't super hot to try to buy a, a door directly into your bedroom. Remember, that handle there does deadbolt, so, you know, you've got full security, you can make sure people aren't coming in and out of there if you don't want them to. Full storage below an easy lift bed, wide open side stand, super CPAP friendly or phone charging, whatever. Full storage above, you know, all kinds of good things. Now that vent up there has no power run to it, but you see how there's a, a ceiling light next to it? It's extremely easy. If you want to install like a vent fan up there, give us a call. Um, we can piggyback off the power to that light and basically install a, a vent fan up there if you're so inclined. Now, 
I believe in the policy of if I see something, I say something in an RV video tour. So I went and I got the details on this. If you come over here, you look and you see some discoloration on the floor. That is an item, uh, you know, that should concern people. However, obviously, it is rock solid. So I investigated. I said, hey, previous owner, um, what is this? Why is that there? And basically, uh, they were dry camping once and the fresh water um, fill tank is uh, right in this similar area. And they didn't realize that they just had the tank overflowed and then a little bit of water from that kind of touched the floor and it discolored the floor. But obviously, you saw me boot stomping the thing like, I don't know, Hulk Hogan <laughs> with the atomic leg drop, brother. Um, man, I feel sorry for Hulk Hogan. When he does a Mori Povich DNA test and finds out that not everyone is in fact his brother, dude's going to be crushed. Full big pass-through storage below that front master bed we were just looking out. And as we back up, we see something uh, that's very common nowadays, but was not when this was built. And that's a power awning. When this was made, most trailers, even fifth wheel, still had uh, manual awning. So, buddy, this was way ahead of its time. And that's kind of one of the cool things about getting a, a little bit older RV that was higher end at its time. You still get a lot of the features that make it very current but without all the price tag. That was kind of funny. Previous owner was getting unhitched from the uh, RV and I walked over here and I said, I've been doing this a while, let me guess, did somebody bump this with a lawnmower? And he laughed, he goes, yeah. You remember, I think it was his mother-in-law who's inside that you talked to? I said, yeah, he goes, she bumped it with the lawnmower. It's just kind of funny, you do this long enough and you just, you really learn to piece together the history of it, guys, and I've got a lot of experience doing it. Um, this is a, uh, a laminated structure with a wood studded super walk on roof. So a lot of aluminum in play here, a lot of lamination, two inch thick sidewalls, uh, a lot of good stuff going on. Tires look good. Um, oh, you know, remember I was just telling you, I was just showing you that little discolored spot on the floor. I said, hey, you know, there's the fresh water fill in this area. There's the fresh water fill I was talking about. And just to kind of drive home how minor and localized that is, you notice how inside the baggage compartment in the same area, you don't see any sort of discoloration or effect because it was very brief, it was very minor, they jumped on it right away. And like I said, it is cosmetic in nature only. It is obviously not structural by virtue of the Hulk Hogan atomic foot stomps I was putting on it. I, I, I'm pretty sure that's what those are called. Alrighty, we're walking around the back side of that walk-on roof over here. Nothing really to note because everything looks good. I can tell previous owners did a great job on their routine care, maintenance, and upkeep by virtue of the fact that the skin is not chalky, the decals aren't peeled, faded, flaking. Guys, everything looks exactly the way it's supposed to. Case in point, holy cow, this roof looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, you can you can really tell they did a good job taking care of this. All the seals look good. Um, I can't tell, I suspect it's actually gone through a full peel and seal at least once because there's a couple spots where you can see a little bit of the white touch-up stuff, but everything below it is really good looking. Now around that skylight, you can see a full uh, reseal around that done recently, but that's good because this is all proactive maintenance. And ladies and gentlemen, as a place that has a, uh, a very active repair shop, very often occupied by things that could have been prevented, I can tell you, roof maintenance like this, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. This is a very well kept used RV that has not been beat up. Um, yeah, I mean, the only other thing here, let me be ultra, like the, uh, the radio antenna up top looks like maybe, I don't know, something snagged it, like it's just not there. That's just, I don't know, that's just the worst thing I can say about the camper. No AM FM antenna, but <laughs> what's funny is the AM FM antenna or AM FM stereo will still work in a local radius. Overall, guys, I think you're looking at a sharp one here. If you're looking to get out of the family bunkhouse, get into a, uh, a little couple's camper, something nice with the fiberglass, you're going to do real well with this one. So give us a call. Take care. Stay safe. Have fun. And happy camping, everyone.